Hello, I just wanted to stop by and give you an encouraging word because I had to encourage myself. Um, the other day I was praying and all I heard was delight thyself in the Lord. And that's what Psalms 37, 4 says, delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. You know, sometimes we can be in a place where we see um, other people prospering, you know, especially people that don't serve the Lord. We look at them and it seems like they're getting all the things that you desire. They, you know, they're not serving God. They're not doing, you know, anything like that, but they're, they're doing, they're obtaining the riches. They're obtaining prosperity and we look at that sometimes I, I know i do sometimes every once in a while i'll get off track and i'll look i'm like well lord look at them they're not doing this not doing that they're not serving you you know but it seems like they are gaining traction it seems like they are prospering and you're waiting for god to do some things for you you're waiting for some promises to happen and you're trying to be faithful, not to say that we we're all perfect, we fall, we get back up. But you know, sometimes it seems like that. So I guess I was in that place the other day. So God gave me Psalms 37. So it says, fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and the wither, and wither as the green herb. So God gives us instructions in this Psalms 37. So he said to trust in the Lord and do good, so shall thou be so so shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Then he said to Delight thyself, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. The next instructions he said was to commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So he's given us instructions when we feel down and we feel that, you know, the the wicked are gaining all the the things that they want and we're not. These is this is what God told us to do. The next thing is said to um and I'll say well verse five said, Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass, and he shall bring it forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Then he says to rest, rest in the Lord. And wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So those are wicked devices that causes people to prosper. So you have wicked devices and you have blessings from the Lord. Then he said to cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Don't get to a place where you want to do evil too. Don't get to a place where you like, well, you know, I want, I want to, I want these things, you know, God's taking a long time or so you don't want to go get to a place where you want to do some bad things to obtain prosperity. So cease from anger because we can get angry. So cease from that. And it says in number verse nine, it says, for evil, evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. So God is telling us to be patient. Whatever God has promised you, whatever he has spoken to you, whatever you're waiting for, even some of those promises you may have put on the back shelf, or the back burner and like, oh, God, you're taking too long. Maybe this is not going to come to pass. Get those back off the shelf and be, remind God what he told you. Remember and to thank God 
for the things that he that he has promised you they are coming to pass god's words will not return to him void if he spoke that to you he's going to bring it to pass is this we have to be faithful and believe god even doesn't matter how long it takes because god's timing is right i'm gonna read what david said in the um commentary it says though david was troubled by the prosperity of the unrighteous he knew by faith that their undeserved bounty would be cut off his underlying belief is that god will intervene in his time not our time but his time then the present temporary temporary reversal of fortunes will be set right and the righteous shall inherit the earth we will inherit the earth it doesn't seem like it but god is really doing a lot of things if we really pay attention what's going on out here he's uncovering some things he's exposing some things and things are ha happening out here we just have to open our spiritual eyes and see it god is showing us i remember i used to pray that um the the guns would either backfire or they'll get jammed so all of a sudden i started looking at like different videos and testimonies about yeah they tried to shoot somebody shoot a little boy or whatever and they shot up and the guns began to jam so god is answering these prayers out here believe it he's doing miracle signs and wonders he's healing people the miraculous is out here believe god for it because he is on our side he's working on our behalf so just uh wanted to encourage you today fret not thyself of evildoers for they soon shall be cut off and he said delight thyself also in the lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart so i just wanted to leave you with a encouraging word today because i had to encourage myself you know we all get to that place sometimes where we look at other people and like wow they're prospering we can even look at some saints too so we have to be careful of that because we don't know what that other person have went through it's, it's their time now so you want to celebrate them um in their prosperity in their blessings if, if god is sending them a blessing and gave them you know they come to you and say look what god has done you'd be happy for them because they they waited too it's just that their time is right now but ours is coming so i just wanted to encourage you today that trust in god and fret not thyself of evil doers because they will soon be cut off and delight thyself in the lord so i just wanted to leave that with you and you have a great one, and I will talk to you later. Bye now.